So in this video, I'm going to be walking you step by step how to set up a Pinterest traffic ad to get more traffic and sales to your Shopify store. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elle McCann, and if you're new to this channel, I post videos every week all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, today we're gonna to be talking about how to set up Pinterest ads. I'm gonna actually be walking you through step-by-step -step of how to set this up for your e-commerce store. But before I actually go into my screen and show you how to set everything up, I first wanna cover three different topics. So the first is just the overall power of Pinterest. Secondly, I want to talk about what makes Pinterest ads different from other social media platform ads like Facebook and Instagram. And then lastly, I wanna talk about what makes a good and a bad Pinterest ad. So let's go ahead and get started. And let's start from the top about the power of Pinterest. So if you have watched a couple videos on this channel already, you may know that I love Pinterest for e-commerce. I've actually done a whole playlist of videos all about Pinterest and Shopify strategies and how to set up different code snippets on your site. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out the link in the info cards above, and I'll also put a link in the description below. So what makes Pinterest so different and the power behind it all is that once you pin something on there, it can then keep going on and on and on forever. Where other social media platforms, once you post it, it's typically really dying down after about 24 to 48 hours. But with Pinterest, it can just get more steam and it still can be seen years after you actually pin the original pin. And that's because of how their whole system works. So it's kind of like a inspiration board. So if you pin something to your board, someone else may like it and pin it to one of their boards and so on and so forth. And so everyone starts pinning different pins that are similar and years later, your pin can still be surfaced and still can be shared and clicked on even long after you originally posted it. And that's really the key power of why Pinterest I think is so much better for e-commerce than other social media platforms. So let's go in now and talk about how the ads are different on Pinterest versus let's say Facebook, for example. On Facebook, as soon as you launch a campaign, of course there's a review process, but you can start seeing some traffic and hopefully conversions and interactions and engagements on that ad within 24 to about 72 hours after actually posting it. And of course, as soon as you turn the ad off, that's it. Like it's not gonna be continually seen or surface a lot unless people are sharing it a lot and that's kind of how it's being seen on Facebook still. But overall, once you turn the ad off, that's done. On Pinterest, however, it's actually a lot cheaper to advertise where Facebook's pretty expensive because a lot of people are advertising there, but also it's a longer stretch that you're trying to advertise for. Kara Chase, who is a Pinterest strategist and expert that I have interviewed on this channel before, and I can link to her interview in the description below, but she recommends actually running a campaign for about two to four weeks to actually start seeing the impact that those ads have and see the engagement and decide what you wanna continue on with. Now also with that, as soon as you turn off the ads, of course, as I was saying in my first point, is that they can continue bringing in more traffic and sales to you because people are still pinning them long after you turn the ads off. So you can invest a little bit of money to get a pin out there more, and then it can keep reaping those benefits for you later down the road. So let's talk about my last tip, and then I'm so excited to jump into my screen and show you how to set this up. My last tip is all about what makes a good and a bad Pinterest ad. So as you know, if you've gone to Pinterest and kind of gone down the rabbit hole there of being sucked in and just pinning for hours, you know that a lot of Pinterest is very visually based. So let's say you're pinning a product image from your site. You're not gonna wanna pin an image that's just your product flat laying on a white background. This is super boring and it is not gonna get engagement. Instead, you wanna make sure that you have 
in more of a lifestyle setting, that it's staged more or it's on an actual model. This is what's gonna get it to be more engaging and people are actually going to pin it, click the link to your site to hopefully purchase it and it's going to keep being resurfaced. You wanna make sure that your content is very visually appealing and it's not super kind of ad looking. It looks more lifestyle and organic and it follows the flow that a normal Pinterest feed has. So you don't want it to look like an ad and you don't want it to be super boring on a white background or just a solid color background. You wanna really think about how it's going to look and make sure it's very visually appealing. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's hop into my screen and I'm gonna show you how to set up a Pinterest traffic campaign for your Shopify store. Okay, so we are now on the Pinterest page that we are going to be running ads for in this tutorial. And you can see up here, we have an ads drop down menu. So we're seeing this because this is a Pinterest business account. So if you don't see this, that means that you are under a Pinterest personal account and you're going to need to switch it over to a business account to actually run ads. You cannot run ads under a personal account. So to do that, I will include a link in the description below that takes you to convert your Pinterest personal account into a Pinterest business account. So you wanna make sure that you do that before you start running any ads. You'll also need to go in and fill out your billing information, set up your address and a credit card or debit card that you will actually have charged whenever you run ads. You won't be able to set them up without that. And we wanna set up a couple other things as well before we get started. So first off, you wanna to go to conversions and you wanna set up your Pinterest conversion tag. Now this actually lets Pinterest track how well your ads are doing and converting on your site. So I already have one set up here. I'm not gonna go through this in this video tutorial. However, I do have another video tutorial that goes specifically through setting up your conversion tag for your Shopify store. So I will also put a link to it in the description below. So next under ads, we are going to want to click into audiences. So this is similar to how Facebook has different audiences set up of specifically for retargeting. So if we click on create audience, you can see I don't have any created right now. So we hit create audience. You then have different options. So you can go ahead and create a audience based on people who have already been to your site or a list of customers. So this could be like an email list that you upload. So these would be really great for retargeting campaigns that you're doing on Pinterest. You can also target people who have engaged with pins from your site before or people that are behaving similar, similarly to an audience that you already have running. So you could go ahead, we'll do visitors who went to your site and hit next. And then you can go ahead and name this all out. So I'm just going to say Majestic Tales website traffic. And you could put a description in here. I'm gonna select my Pinterest tag. We wanna say, let's do 30 days. So I will come up here and I will put 30 days in my tag or my name so that I know exactly who that is. Um, and then we could go ahead and let's see the ad filter. We could do a URL if it equals or doesn't equal a specific one. So that could be if you're wanting to target a specific collection or product on your site and we can go ahead and hit create. So that is using our conversion tag that we already have set up on our store and you can see that that's going to take a little time to get added in. So you could go ahead and create different audiences if you were wanting to create an ad campaign to retarget people who have already been to your site or on your email list, but we are going to, for purposes of this tutorial, actually create ads that people have not seen before. They don't know about us, so we're gonna create those ads first. So first off, I'm going to actually create the actual pin that we are going to be advertising. So I'm just gonna click on the Pinterest logo over here. And this is our business hub area. And then I'm gonna create or hit this red plus sign button to create our first pin. So then I'm gonna say create pin. And now we have the options to create the pin however we want. Now, if you come to our site here, this is the product that we are going to be creating the ad for. 
Now, as I had said earlier in this video, we don't wanna do an ad that's just the product on a white background that's a flat lay. This is really boring and it's not gonna be visually exciting enough to get people to click on it. So instead of just pinning this directly from our site and using that as the ad, we want to add an exciting image that we have created with Placeit, uh, which is software that lets you add in different print-on-demand designs and get really cool images that you can use for advertising or for your website. So we are going to go back to Pinterest and I am just gonna click on this arrow to upload it from my computer. And we've got a more exciting image here and I'm just gonna hit open. So you can see that's definitely a lot better of an exciting image that people would engage with versus just this on a white background. So now we're gonna come in and give more information about our product. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this description and paste it over. Now again, you can make this however you want it to be. I'm just trying to make it a little bit shorter for this tutorial. And we can say cute corgi dog mom sweatshirts. Okay, um, and then we want to do this add a destination link. So I'm gonna go back to my store again. I'm gonna copy this link in the URL bar and I'm gonna paste it into this destination link here. Okay, we can then choose to either publish it immediately or publish at a later date. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it immediately. And the last step that we wanna do is we wanna select which board to put it on. So I've already got a couple boards created and I'm gonna put it on this animal lover products and hit publish. So next you can see that Pinterest is immediately trying to get us to run an ad campaign with it. However, we don't wanna do it through this option because it's not gonna give us the keywords and the targeting that we're really looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross out of that so that we can see our pin. So we can see it now and whenever we hover over it, it goes to our site URL. So we are now that we've got this pin set up, we're gonna go into our ads and set up our first campaign. So we're gonna to go to ads and then overview. So here we would see all of the different campaigns that we have set up uh, and are running currently. However, we don't have any running right now, so that's why this is all blank. So again, whenever you come to this area, you're going to see that Pinterest is wanting to make it really fast for you to create an ad. However, you don't get the same settings that you would if you go through it a little bit more methodically. So if you click here, again, you won't be able to go through all of the different settings. So what we're gonna actually do to create this first ad is we're gonna go to ads and then create ad. Now we have a lot more options that we can use to build out our campaign. So we're going to go ahead and just have this to be a traffic campaign that we're running for Pinterest. So you can see here, we have these options of conversions and catalog sales not available for us because we actually haven't met the criteria yet to run it. So if we hover over conversions, you can see that we have to have 50 conversions attributed to our traffic or awareness campaign in the past seven days to actually run this ad or run this campaign objective. So you wanna make sure that you set up that conversion tag so that you can start working towards this process. So we're going to go ahead now and name our campaign. So I'm just going to say Majestic Tales Corgi Dog Mom Sweater or Sweatshirt. Okay. And then we can click here to set our campaign spend limits as well. So we can go in and actually set how much we want either to spend daily or lifetime for the campaign. So we could set up that maybe we want to spend a total of $50 lifetime for this campaign. And then we can set up different ad sets that all run at different budgets to actually go into that. So let's go ahead and just set 50 for now. And campaign status we will set as active and hit continue. Now we're gonna set up the ad group name. So this is going to be similar to like an ad set that you would see on Facebook ads. 
So we're gonna just set this up as, we'll say Corgi products. And this is where we created this audience before. So we could go ahead and we could select this audience. If you had more added in, you could see all of those here. You can also choose to add an interest. So I'm not gonna do this here because this is actually Pinterest's bulk interest that you can choose from whenever you're first creating a Pinterest account. And it's a lot more broader. You can see here, there's only nine different options inside of animals. And so it's a lot bigger of a scope and you're gonna end up paying for it and it's not gonna be as direct. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna to go to the keywords area if we scroll down just a little bit. So you can see here that they recommend a minimum of 25 keywords. You can either paste in or just type in all the keywords that you want if you already have those figured out, or you can search from on the right hand side. You can also see as we add in the keywords that this potential audience is going to get smaller. So right now it's at 60 million plus, which is obviously very broad. So I'm just going to type in Corgi in the search bar here. And you can see we have a couple different options that we have. So we could come in here and we could click on any of these. We could click on like cute Corgi and you can see now it's added here and also our audience size changes as well. So you can just go in and click on all the different ones that you want. So I'm gonna go through this and add a couple more. So we could go through and just keep adding more of these. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and leave it at that for now and proceed through. But again, you do wanna do that minimum of 25 keywords. And again, you can see over here, we started over here very broad at 60 million plus, and now we're a lot lower. So you would wanna just keep going until you've got those 25 keywords. You can then choose what type of other qualifiers that you want this person to have that sees this ad. So we could choose all genders or pick a specific one. We'll just leave this at all, or actually this one says dog mom. So we wanna keep that at female and unspecified. You can also choose ages that you have, so you can require specific ages um, and locations as well. So we're gonna keep this at all US locations. For language, we want to come in and just pick English because we, our site is in English and we want to make sure that they're going to be able to read our site. You can also choose to set this to a specific kind of device. However, we're going to keep this at all devices for now. And we could come in if we saw later that something was performing better and select that. Okay. So we're going to keep this at all for recommended as well as to keep that expanded. You can then come in here and actually set up the daily budget. So we could say that we just want this to run at $5 a day. So it's gonna spend no more than $35 a week. And we have that campaign budget set at 50. So that would take us at about a week and a half. So we can make the campaign lifetime budget a little bit more if we wanted to run this longer. You can also choose here how much you want your maximum bid to be. You can see here, that this is obviously a lot lower for Pinterest than it is for Facebook. And you could play around with what you want it to start off with. You can see here that it's recommending a bid of $2.17 to be competitive. However, we can go ahead and start with this or even lower it a little bit more if we wanted to just start off at 50 cents and kind of just watch the campaign to see how it goes. We're also gonna keep this at standard because we're wanting to run this for a longer time period to see what actually happens. So now that we've changed that bid, you can see our audience size changes as well. And now we're gonna select the pin that we have set up for this. So we're going to select this. If we had multiple ones that we wanted to do, these are ones from other sites that I've pinned. So we just wanna advertise ours, obviously. And we would have that selected. And then whenever you're ready to launch it, we will just hit launch here. Now that you've got this set up, I'm going to turn it to off because we didn't add in all of our keywords, but you'll see that all of these results will start to come in. It can take a little bit of time to actually get the ads reviewed and approved by Pinterest. But once you start actually spending some money and getting some results, you'll still see that start coming in here. Now, again, this is going to be very different than with Facebook where you start seeing results within a 24 to 48 hour period. Here it's a lot 
slower of a process. And so it is recommended to keep the ads running longer on Pinterest. And so you want to just start with a lower budget and really see how that goes. And of course, keep monitoring that. So I hope you got a lot of value out of learning how to set up a Pinterest traffic campaign for your Shopify store. However, there is so much more that you need to do before ideally you even start running the ads, which is just overall optimizing your Pinterest profile to make sure that you're going to get the biggest benefit out of your ads and also some organic reach. So I'm not going through those tips and tutorials in this channel because honestly, there is a better resource for that. And that resource is called Pinterest Power Up and it's by Kara Chase. So I have talked about Kara Chase earlier in this video and we've interviewed her on this channel before and she is just a Pinterest rock star. So she created Pinterest Power Up, which is a monthly membership program that takes you from point A all the way down to Z on how to set up your Pinterest profile to make sure it's optimized correctly and you're gonna get the maximum benefits of Pinterest for your Shopify store. Now, I have been a member of Pinterest Power Up for a couple months now and I've definitely seen the benefit of Pinterest for my content, both for my own web design business as well as for this YouTube channel and my e-commerce stores. So I highly recommend, of course, using Pinterest as well as the Pinterest Power Up program. So I will tell you that I am an affiliate for the Pinterest Power Up course. However, I'm only an affiliate because I very strongly believe in it and I've seen the benefit from my business, as well as I'm able to get a small commission from referring people to the course that goes to support this channel. So if you're interested in learning more about Pinterest Power Up and all that you can learn in it about how to really optimize Pinterest for your Shopify store, make sure to click the link in the description below and learn more. If you got value from this video, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more videos all about Shopify. You can also check out more recent videos that I've done about Pinterest and Shopify over here, and I hope to see you in the next video.